Hi, I'm Auge Valoverta, and this one is about Boo Green and Digital's new Christian Kohle IR pack, rainbows and chainsaws. That was the song called Rainbows and Chainsaws, which I wrote specifically for this video. And yes, you saw right, I actually used the rainbow IRs on those heavier parts, because to me they sounded more like heavier, <laughs> at least with the amp that I had, which I have now, PV5150. And the chainsaws, I actually found it that work, worked better for this song on those like 80s influence stuff where I had just one guitar. So I recorded one guitar and then I divided it to different tracks and then those heavy parts I doubled afterwards. So the single chain is guitar, pedal board, bus super overdrive, ISP decimator, then to KHG amp switcher. But, but that's not used really, because I have only the PV5150, which I used on the song, even though it sounded like several different amplifiers, but because of the different IRs, which play a huge part of the final sound. It sounds like there is actually more amps than one, and same settings, everything. Then it goes to the Sir Reactive Load, and I'm not using and IRs that I have loaded in there. I have these Kohle IRs there also, as with, it's filled with Bluegrass IRs, leads and cleans, rhythms and Kohle. But I'm using the direct out, and we are on the screen here. This is the channel that I now have, the demo guitar channel. So, what I have here is, as you see, the Input is Sir Direct. I have several input options here. And then I use this STL Tones Ignite Libra IR Loader. This is absolutely fantastic. It's the best one I've tried. Doesn't color the sound at all. The other one, which is free, which is really good, is the NAD IR from STL Tones also. But with this one, this has the Carti Cartesian mixer, so you can blend the IRs or well, I don't usually play, I usually go with one, and that's it. But for this video, it's really easy for me to 
present different ideas by just moving this dot here. So, and for the sake of comparison, I have loaded two of my favorite ideas from each of three Bulgarians back. So from the rhythm pack, it's Son of God 2, Greasy Beard. From the Legion Cleans, it's Valo Virtuos and Damn I'm Good. There's a couple of other really good too, but I, I chose this one because this is really different than the Valo Virtuos. And the clean, clean sounds I'm not using now because this is about heavy guitars. And then these Juicy Vintage Fullness and Warm and Juicy, they are from the Coalesce Chainsaw Pack and the creamy warmth and big balls bazooka are from the <laughs> chainsaw uh, rainbows pack yeah i'm confused because <laughs> i think that the rainbows actually sound more towards heavy but you know that's just me so let's check out the song first and what i used there because as you can see here i used I, I basically tracked, like I said, one guitar, and then I just divided it to different tracks, because I have different IRs loaded on these tracks. So, what's going on is the Juicy Vintage Fullness first. And yeah, this has a little delay micro pitch and reverb for that you know 80s sound so let's listen first this part with the juicy vintage fullness and then the same part with warm and juicy irs so you hear the differences <laughs> Same amplifier, two IRs, two different sounds. And then the metal part I used, uh, this one is with creamy warmth IRs. And then this same riff with big bazooka. Same amp, same settings, 5150 boosted with SD, different IRs, different sound. And one cool trick is also to use different IR on the left and on the right track, but for the sake of this video, I... Well, I can show you how they sound. Let's just uh, change these to big balls bazooka, this creamy warmth, and then let's see if this is... Yes, creamy warmth. So now we have creamy warmth on the left and big ball bazooka on the right. Like that. So that's also a cool option to, you know, get different tonalities by simply just changing the IR. These Bullgrass IRs and this, the, this new caller IR pack, these are so good. So as you can see, I have no EQ, nothing going on, everything is bypassed. I have the SSL channel, but it's everything is bypassed. Because this is modeled after the, the, you know, real SSL legendary mixing desk. So even though nothing is on, these models, when the signal passes through the SSL desk, it adds just a tiny amount of mojo. I mean, it's hardly audible, but because I've recorded a bunch of albums with SSL mixing desk, so, desk, so that's kind of like when they released this plugin, 
or it was, it's a while ago, but I, I purchased, purchased this a while ago because I was like, oh, yes, a cell saw. I just have it on all the time because it makes me feel, I don't know, something like I will be in a real recording studio with SSL mixing desk. Yeah, but th these are great. And yes, I'm, I'm endorsed by Bullgren. I have a affiliate link in the description be below if you're interested to purchase this. You, with that link, you will get a 15% discount from the Bullgren's packs, not from the Kohler pack at the moment, but in the future the discount will be active on that one too. But how I got into working with them, and you know I have my signature IR Valo Virtuals from the, uh, it's on the Lead and Clean pack, Bullgren pack. I bought the first rhythm pack and I just absolutely loved it. I still do. And I started to use that. And ever since, that's like, I don't know, a little bit over a year ago, I haven't used anything else. And I basically, I'm old school in that sense that if I like something, I stick with that. On the lead and on the first rhythm pack, I basically used the Sound of God EQ2. While we're at it, let us let me show you differences. So, Sound of God, here, this is from the first pack. Mute off. And my second favorite, which I've used, is the Grizz Beard. They're quite the same. And then, this is my signature IR. Well, virtuous. It's basically the same cabinet, same microphone, same speaker than the Sound of God, but I wanted to have it like Sound of God, but with more mids, tighter highs, and not so much of these really aggressive high highs. So on my forthcoming solo album. The first single just is pre-save from today. It will be released in a couple of weeks. On the album, I basically used this Valo Virtuos IR. On some songs, on some parts, I used the Sound of God IR with the Valo Virtuos on distorted guitars. I just used different amps to make different sounds, you know. And then this damn I'm good. This is really totally different. So if we are on this Okay, and why I'm showing you these IRs? So that you would have something to refer to. Why should you get the collar back? Well, they are great and... That was that, warm and juicy, next. This is from the rainbows, and then from the angels, cream warmth. It's 
kind of this vintage feel. I mean, fifth one fifth, but it kind of sounds like you know vintage Marshall. And then big balls bazooka. It's probably the best name for IR ever, because you know you play with big balls. You sound like you have big balls. <laughs> You know, the cab and the mic are responsible for on 80% of your tone. And you heard, same amp, same settings, completely different tones when I change different IRs. What cabinets there's, I don't actually know, because that's secondary information for me. I only care if it sounds good, it's good. But, but let's just see, so what did I use uh, from the Rainbows? Uh, I used the Big Boss Bazooka. That has uh, Omega, okay, Marshall cabinet, SM57, Jens, okay, and the other was, uh, what was it, Creamy Warmth, Eminence CV7, Mesa Boogie cabinet, okay, and then the chainsaws I used, the Juicy Vintage, Celestin Century Vintage, TH, okay, and uh, Warm and Juicy, Jensen, Nighthawk, Marshall, but this is just like, yeah, I mean, whatever, I mean, this combination could sound horrible if you don't know what you're doing, but it could sound awesome, like in Kristen's case, because he knows what he's doing. So if you're, you know, buying IRs and, you know, what cabinet was used and that stuff, that really doesn't mean anything. Because, you know, if a, you know, plumber, no offense to plumbers, but plumbers aren't most likely the best sound engineers. If a plumber mics, let's say this cabinet, uses these microphones, it probably will, doesn't sound as good as when Kristen has done it. So, my recommendation, what I always do with these IRs, I just play with them, listen with them, and then afterwards I like check, okay, well, well, what, what was used? As you can see, there is lots of other IRs. I'm not gonna go through them. Those four I showed is my one well, of my favorites. I I, uh, I got this a couple of days ago and they work on everything. And like you heard, a chainsaw, you know, cool work on more AD stuff and vice versa. And this works for, for clean stuff and everything. Just absolutely fantastic. I've tried so many different IRs. I have so many different IR packs and from different manufacturers, but like I said, a little bit over a year, year or so ago, when I first tried out the Bullgren stuff, I haven't used anything else. And this Christian Kohler's new pack isn't an, isn't an exception, it's absolutely fantastic. Hey! Links to the stuff with my discount in the description below. And thanks for watching. Especially my subscribers, really appreciate that you've been watching my videos really well and commented nicely, which I appreciate. Thank you for that. And, you know, see you next time. Rock and roll. Bye.